Wow, that's an impressive amount of fruit. <laughs> I'm catching a whiff of cider. Oh, they must have orchards here. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors here. Do you live here, ma'am? I would hope so. I'm the mayor. Is this the right road to Niakara? Niakara? Now that's a name I haven't heard in ages. What do you mean? It's what people called a long-forgotten village. I don't even know if it still exists. I heard tales of the village as a child. People claimed it lies beyond the Kijara Sea Falls. Where can we find it? You'll need to cross some seriously rugged terrain to get there. It won't be an easy journey. In that case, we should probably rest here before heading on. Agreed. I'm afraid our little village doesn't have an inn. Not much call for one. But I've an extra room in my house. You're welcome to use it if you like. Thank you for your hospitality, ma'am. So, why bother taking human form at all? Spirits are really just masses of mana. They can't interact with the temporal world in that state. For a spirit to take physical form, it needs a catalyst of a corresponding element. As an example, the fire spirit of Freet can take form as a blazing inferno. And as Maxwell, you can be any element, right? The human body contains all four elements, so it's the perfect catalyst for me to take a physical form. What would happen if you lost your catalyst? I would gather elements to make a new one, but I'd have to wait for it to grow up. Grow up? You mean you start as a baby? It's time consuming, but if you want to use a human form as a catalyst, you have to wait for the body to develop. So even the Lord of Spirits isn't omnipotent? Not in this human realm, anyway. Let's just be grateful she didn't go with the male model, eh? Wouldn't bother me. Oh, you swing both ways? That's not what I meant.
fruits. No wonder it smells so good around here. Wow, look how juicy they are. Mmm. Is that so? They look like they're at the peak of ripeness. Sweet with just a hint of tartness. That sounds... interesting. Uh, Mila, you're drooling really bad. For some reason, I can't make it stop. Sounds like your body has awakened to the joys of eating. Just keep those mitts off the merchandise. Our rap sheet's long enough as it is.
Check it out. Suddenly we're looking down on the world. Yeah. We really have come a long way. What are you looking at? Nothing. Get lost. Wrong answer, Squirt. Now we really want to know what you're looking at. It's some sort of shiny object. It's my shiny object! Finders keepers! Hmm. Looks like a puzzle. A difficult one at that. How about this? Whoa! What's happening? This looks like our letters, but different. More like ancient writing. Let's see here. Heed my words, for I am Eifried, the intrepid explorer who has crossed the world's edge without fear. Yada yada yada, more self-promotion. Ah, here we go. At last, I have reached Terra Incognita. But alas, I am unable to return home. I shall take my many treasures, seal them in arcs, and scatter them about this land. It is my hope that they shall serve as beacons to those explorers who follow in my footsteps. I'm impressed, Alvin. But I still don't know what it means. I've heard of this Eifried. He's a legendary pirate. He raided cities all throughout Rize Maxia ages ago. He set off to find the end of the world and never returned. Or so the legend goes. Nice of him to put his treasures in these boxes for us. The pirate Eifried's treasures? Oh, oh, I want to find him too! Maybe you should learn to read first, young man. Yeah, good idea. You'll all wait for me, right? And keep this Eifried treasure stuff between us. Morning. What are you up to? Watching people. Okay. Say, Mila, can I ask you something? Hmm? What's a Spyrex? Why were you trying to destroy that device in Fenmont? Spyrex technology is something humans were never meant to have. So, I must take it away from them. Why? That is none of your concern. So you don't trust me? That's not it. Look, if you saw a toddler playing with a knife, what would you do? I'd probably snatch it away. And what would be your reason? Because it's dangerous. The baby doesn't know how to use a knife. He could cut himself, or worse. There's your answer. What? But we're not babies. If we understand what we're dealing with, and if we see the dangers, we can learn how to use it safely. So you say. But to me, you're no different than infants. I will do what I must to protect this world. If that means destroying the Lens of Kresnik, so be it. It's my mission. I see. Don't worry, Jude. 
None of this will concern you once we reach Nia Kara. No, they said No. What's going on? No. It would seem we can't linger around here anymore. So they did follow us. I don't know, kid. They found us awfully fast considering this isn't their home turf. Well, it's not like we can ask them about it. Let's go before they find us. There's an exit in the western part of town. That must be the way to the Kajara Sea Falls. What a beautiful view. I bet if I yelled really loud, it would echo back. So why not try it? You gotta do things like that while you're still young. When you get to be my age, it can get a little embarrassing. Yeah, all right, why not? Echo! Echo, 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 echo. Alvin? Alvin, 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 Alvin. And what you're doing now isn't embarrassing? A little, a little, a little, a little. The soldiers beat us here. Great. Now what? We force our way through. Right, and fast, before any more arrive. So that's your plan? Just charge through? <laughs> I thought I was hot-headed. Uh, excuse me. What is it? Um, what are you doing? We're trying to figure out how to get past those soldiers. Way to cut to the chase. So, those people, they're in your way? Hey! What? Ah! What in the world? How did you do that? What's going on here? Child, you know you're never to leave the shed. Rashigal troops? Curse you! How dare you come here! Huh? Where's she going? Which way did she go? Toward the square. What? No, she mustn't. You all must be outsiders. You should hurry and leave this place. I have no idea what just happened, but I ain't complaining. Things just got easier for us. Let's get out of here. You know that girl we saw in Hamil? The one with the weird doll thing? What about her? You didn't think that was odd? You can't waste your energy on other people's business. All part of growing up, kid. But she was controlling that doll and shady people were chasing her. That doesn't bother you? Eh, yeah, plenty of that going around. I mean, just look at ourselves. I think we have enough on our own plates. You really want more irregularities in life? Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, mind you. No one's got a bigger helping of weird than Mila, and she doesn't seem to mind. Well, that's certainly true. Focus! All right! 
It's not working? Take this! Hit! Alright! Well done, Alvin. All in the line of duty. Naturally. Or I'll have you fired. Whoa, hey now. Awakened yet another level of hidden talent. Hey Alvin, about your weapon. You've got an eye for good steel. This is one heck of a blade. Actually, I meant the other one. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like it channels fire spirits and projects their arts at foes. Yeah, something like that. That's incredible. Where'd you get it? Oh, I see how it is. You're the envious type. Stare all you want, kid. I ain't giving it up. You don't have to treat me like a child. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just yanking your chain. Yes! 
Once we cross the Kijara Sea Falls, we'll reach Niakara, the village of the spirits. At least the soldiers didn't come after us. I hope we didn't make trouble for those villagers. They were so kind to us, too. What else could we do but run? Rashagal's troops showed up. The villagers picked the fight, not us. How can you talk like that? Maybe they were trying to protect us. If you're worried about them, then maybe you should go back. It was a pleasure knowing you, Jude. Thank you for all of your help. How can he be so cold? You'd rather I get emotional? I'm afraid I don't have that luxury. What is it you humans say? I've no time for waxing sentimental. Because of your mission? Precisely. So you think your emotions would prevent you from doing what you have to do? Can a person still fulfill their duty if they become emotional? Only one way to find out. You'd have to try and see. Well then, you should take your own advice. Huh? Just be yourself and do what you have to do. Maybe then you'll have your answer. I suppose. And don't go thinking you have to act like the great Lord Maxwell here. You're only human. Hey, are you on a mission too? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Are you sure you really want to know? Huh? I don't want to make you feel like the odd one out now. Oh my. So, what are you gonna do, kid? <laughs> <laughs> 